Hello friends, welcome to the new episode of my channel RG Innovations. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button and select all to get all the notifications of my video uploads. Today I am going to review a 6 digit digital clock that I recently purchased. It's a DIY module. I recently saw it on a website and it looked very pretty and cute to me so I thought of purchasing one. But then what happened? I am going to review it with you. So first things first, let us see what is inside the package. As I said, it's a DIY module. It is not assembled. It is not soldered. All the parts are individually given in the package. So we will assemble it and let's see. So let's take out all the components from the packet. First, there is a manual of the entire thing. It's the circuit. And in the opposite side, there are list of the components. It's written in Chinese, so it's of no use to me. Let's see what else inside in the package. So first, this is the PCB. It's a good quality PCB, I can see very thick and it's a two layered PCB. All the components are properly marked on the PCB. And here are the components which came with the module few ceramic capacitor, few electrolytic capacitors, some resistances, one IC and three displays. This is the IC and three displays with two seven segment displays in each, one battery container and one push switch. So let's start the soldering. So we'll properly insert the components as it is marked I'll show it in a fast forward mode. I'll put the components part by part and then solder it. And after soldering, I'll cut the extra amount of legs.
and now I will give the power supply to this port. Since there is a 7805 IC given, you can provide any voltage between 7 to 15. So the first thing that I disliked about this clock is the second LEDs are fixed. I checked the circuit and I found that these LEDs are directly connected to the positive power supply and negative power supply. So these will be always glowing. And the second thing that I disliked about the clock kit is the refresh rate of the digits. It is very slow. Uh, you can see in the camera this looks like blinking. Even in the naked eye it also looks like these digits are blinking. So two dislikes in the very first impression. Now let's move on and check it. Pressing once will turn off the display to save power. See the second LEDs are growing looks so odd. Now pressing once again will turn on the display. And one more thing the time is moving very slow like every second is passing in 3 seconds. So one hour will pass in three hours. So that is the biggest disadvantage of this clock. So this clock is hardly of any use. Now if we want to change the time, we have to hold it for a long time and the minute section will start blinking. And we have to press very slowly the push button for the digit to change. It increments one by one, but if we press it faster, it does not work. We have to press it very slow once in a second. Then again we have to hold it long to change the hour. So we have to hold it long to change the hour section. And it is also same we have to press once in a second to update the hours. So it's updating 11, 12, then 13. So it's only a 24 hour clock. We cannot change it to a 12 hour format. Now we have to press for a long time for the clock to work again. Now the clock is working again, but it's moving one second in every three seconds. Now let us put a battery. The battery does not come with the kit. I have to separately purchase it. Now I have inserted the battery. Due to power disruption, the time was reset. So I am setting it again. You see? If I press faster, the time does not change. Now I have again set the time and now will now I will remove the power to see if the time is saved in the IC. So I remove the power and powering it up again. So after powering up, you can see the time is not saved in the IC. Even after inserting the battery, the power, the time gets reset if the main power is interrupted. So after giving the power supply, the time starts from zero again. So there are so many disadvantages of the clock. I now do not like it at all. It may be like uh, there is no other way than throwing it into my trash bin because a clock that moves once in every three seconds that increment like uh, the second increases once in every three second is of no use. So it's a big dislike for this clock module. I would not recommend this clock module for anyone and let's see what can be done with this module. I'm going to throw it away. So today is up to this. We will meet again very soon with a new video. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Have a nice time. Thank you.